Each morning, when it's time to go to sea, As Diop partakes in the same ritual with his crew. All are part of the Lebu ethnic group, the traditional fishing community in Senegal. <laughs> They've caught sardinella, jack mackerel, and a few red mullet. But as usual, the catch is disappointing. Once the cost of fuel is accounted for, each fisherman will earn the equivalent of only two euros today. Barely enough to afford food for the day. Yet Senegal is the second largest fish producer in West Africa, with waters renowned for being among the richest in fish in the world. But today, artisanal fishermen are suffering because of competition from European and Chinese trawlers. Many of them, like us, only have one idea in mind. Illegally reach the Spanish archipelago of the Canary Islands, the getaway to Europe closest to Senegal, 1,500 kilometers further north. Six days of sailing, in the best case scenario, on one of the most dangerous migratory routes in the world. Often overloaded boats sail on the high seas to avoid the coast guards. They brave bad weather, risk engine failure or sinking, and cross a geographical area devoid of any rescue service. Despite these dangers, more than 30,700 migrants have arrived to the Canary Islands this year. A record. Everyone dreams of a better life in Europe. Mustafa Diouf shared these hopes. This former fisherman almost perished at sea in 2006 while attempting the crossing to Spain. Eleven of his canoe companions died of thirst or fatigue, a trauma that sparked an awareness in him. Today, he devotes his life to preventing fishermen from leaving. <laughs> C'est des jeunes pêcheurs. Bon, il y, quel, y a quelques personnes qui ne font pas la pêche, mais la, la majeure partie fait la pêche. J'ai voulu que le monde entier connaisse ce qui se passe, que les gens comprennent que euh, les pirogues n'ont pas s'arrêté. It is four in the morning. Mustafa takes us to Tiaroya sur Mer, the fishing village where he was born to witness a scene that recurs across the country's coasts. On the beach, these young people are preparing their canoes, but they are not going fishing. The candidates to migration will go to the Grand Pirog to go to the Canaries. But the people know it very well, the people know it very well. Tout le monde le sait. Beaucoup de gens viennent ici, euh, payent leur euh, argent pour partir aux îles du Cané parce que c'est un point de départ. Mais 
Nengin def. So ay yang ini jauh. Man bukan senyum. Dengan diam. Kumpulan apa? Pas kenyang juga fi. Di dugu cigigi. Man dulu mungkinal. Yang ni ni yang lebih buci jam. These small, discreet crews go looking for migrants on several beaches in the area and will then embark in a large canoe like this one. As the day begins to dawn, around 40 people board, among them several fishermen, but also men with backpacks and several children. They're taking with them bags of rice and cans of water. Ce qui l'attend, on le sait très bien, c'est la danger. Parce que ça ne va pas dire que si tu prends un pirogue, tu, arri tu arriveras aux îles des Canaries. Il y a la tempête. Tu peux disparaître, tu peux mourir. C'est la suicide pour moi, c'est la suicide. Il faut arrêter ça. This canoe arrived in the Canary Islands six days later, with all its passengers safe and sound. Yet many do not reach their destination. This Senegalese Navy patrol boat is returning to the port of Dakar with 416 migrants on board. It has intercepted two overloaded canoes. Each person spends 500 euros on average to reach Europe, sometimes going into debt. So, some prefer to hide their faces, to hide their failure. The Senegalese army claims to have intercepted five times more migrants than last year. C'est vrai que cette année on a constaté euh, une hausse. Rien que cette semaine, nous avons intercepté six pirogues, donc entre lundi et aujourd'hui, et on est à plus de 1000 personnes interpellées, 1099 exactement. Notre rôle en mer, c'est de prendre, essayer d'intercepter ces pirogues, euh, de les amener euh, à quai. Et maintenant, c'est à la police et donc les administrations compétentes qui vont mener l'enquête pour essayer de voir exactement d'où viennent ces bureaux. The police will interview these immigration candidates at the police station to determine who the organizers are. The passengers, considered by the authorities as victims, will be released the same evening. The smugglers, for their part, face up to 10 years in prison, but are attracted by the lure of profit. In Senegal, fishermen manage migrant trafficking in small, informal networks. This is the case of this man in his 40s, who arranged to meet us on a roof, out of sight. He has agreed to speak only on condition of anonymity, because he has already sent two canoes of 90 migrants to the Canary Islands, an opportunity, according to him, to supplement his income. <laughs> Say dom nek ni do nga xey do len mana jox sax lu ñu lek do ko mana am muy metti suñu côté trop metti lol 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 lolu nak mo metti wow ba mana tu no dem mo tax ñuy jë risque bi dañuy doon lu mat ay 10 personnes ba 15 ñi comme ñi ñoy dox li ñi di dox li bu dafa yow da ngay dem di jënti ji gal
yang kena masuk lah karan tu person buah kali soalan nak bensin ke person boleh pun ya be mana mili malawan lagi mana gaya ay 8 million ay 7 million tak ayam kosias tranquil dah on mer boka hamer kut mer Dula jahal, dula jahal, dula jahal. Pur pur itu jono, no. Nyom nyom begedem. Nyom surtu, nyom nyom begedem. The smuggler denies any moral responsibility in the event of an accident. He claims to be helping and also plans to embark with his family on the next canoe to the Canary Islands. Just 10 years ago, one in five people made a living from artisanal fishing in Senegal. In coastal villages like that of As and his friends, more than three quarters of fishermen have seen their income fall. Here, the main topic of discussion is no longer fishing, but how to raise the money to leave. As has already covertly reached the Canary Islands twice, before being deported each time. Despite these failures, he remains determined to leave. Lui c'est ma maison. Lui c'est mon sofa. C'est mon fils. Qui est ma femme là? Lui c'est mon fils. Oh c'est Diop. It's almost lunch time. On the lunch menu, rice with tomato sauce. Ironically, this family of fishermen does not have the means to buy fish. In families, no one talks about the day of departure out of superstition. As with his last attempts, Ars will not warn his wife. We just get in your drink, Balanaka Santi, in four Gayo. The soga lad, you need him a gal, tumble nothing, a hamness in the dem. Then you're hearing in a dem. Lord Langasima, Lord Munos, the Dara. Madame To pay for the crossing, As is trying to sell his most precious possession, his fishing net. To understand why there are fewer and fewer fish in Senegalese waters, we are following Abdullah Ndi, the head of the ocean campaign of the NGO Greenpeace. He denounces the fishing agreements between the European Union and Senegal, which, according to him, are guilty of unfair competition against artisanal fishermen. 
Each year, these European boats can collect up to 10,000 tons of tuna and 1,750 tons of hake in Senegalese waters, in exchange for financial compensation of around 3 million euros, a paltry sum paid to the Senegalese government from which coastal villages do not benefit. Corona del Mar, vous voyez le drapeau, déjà c'est un bateau français. Oui. Et nous, on va essayer d'aller là-bas oui. pour le voir, regarder ce qu'il fait. Bon okay. Okay. Étant quelqu'un de la communauté des pêcheurs, étant issu d'une famille de pêcheurs, euh, mes parents étant des pêcheurs, mes jeunes frères, mes pouets, peut-être mes fils demain, ils seront des pêcheurs. Moi, j'ai un sacerdoce de, de me dire que je dois protéger cette mer pour les générations futures. After an hour and a half of sailing, they located this tuna boat. Senegalese law prohibits this type of vessel from fishing within six nautical miles from coasts, or 10 kilometers, to preserve artisanal fishing. But this rule is often broken. Ce qu'il faut, c'est d'avoir l'image de ce navire qui soit ensemble avec ses relevés GPS. Donc, dès que tu as ça, tu prends la photo comme ça, Personne ne pourra dire que le bateau n'a pas été là. Si ce bateau pêchait en dessous des zones des six mines, il est en infraction. C'est nous qui devons tout faire pour que ces informations-là puissent arriver aux autorités compétentes. This French trawler is not fishing. It is therefore not doing anything illegal. The Greenpeace activists will not send their photos to the authorities this time, but they still find its position close to the coast suspicious. Et voilà. Il y a une formation, il y a une formation. Dès, dès qu'ils voient des pêcheurs s'agiter un peu autour des bateaux, ils ont des craintes. C'est du pillage des Européens, c'est du bradage des Africains. Nos gouvernements prêtent les ressources qui sont destinées à leur population. Les Européens viennent piller les ressources sénégalaises pour l'amener pour eux et laisser nos enfants dans une situation d'extrême de, de, pauvreté. Ce qui pousse certains de nos fils aujourd'hui à prendre les bureaux et se dire nous allons sortir de ce pays pour aller trouver des choses meilleures ailleurs. Donc ils ne peuvent pas prendre nos poissons et après nous dire non, vous, il faut que vous reteniez vos enfants. Vous ne voulez pas de, 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 de nos enfants chez vous, mais vous voulez de nos poissons chez vous. Soyons, soyons raisonnables. The other main cause of the fall in fish stocks are these Chinese trawlers. On the way back near the port, Abdullah shows us these 40 meter long behemoths capable of fishing 30 times more than a traditional canoe. The biggest ones can catch up to 60 tons of fish in 20 minutes and scrape the seabed indiscriminately. However, no fishing agreement exists between Dakar and Beijing. These vessels use local dummy companies to obtain Senegalese fishing licenses. A very common ploy. In his office, Abdullah Ndi has an official document which illustrates this lack of transparency. It's a fishing license awarded on the 18th of July to a Chinese trawler. The minister responsible had nevertheless publicly committed to no longer attributing this type of authorization, but this document was leaked. C'est une licence de nom complètement chinoise. Ce bateau a demandé une licence sur une pêcherie qui est surexploitée. C'est pourquoi j'ai dit que la responsabilité principale, c'est de la responsabilité de l'État du Sénégal. C'est à eux de se dire, nous devons gérer durablement ces pêcheries, nous ne devons pas donner des licences n'importe comment. Greenpeace ainsi que toutes les autres organisations de pêche du Sénégal, depuis plus de cinq ans, demandent à l'État du Sénégal de publier le listing des navires de pêche industrielle autorisés à pêcher au Sénégal. Le Sénégal ne l'a jamais publié. Pourquoi il ne veut pas le publier Parce qu'il ne veut pas que les gens découvrent le nombre de bateaux qu'elle a fait entrer dans cette pêcherie. Est-ce qu'il y a corruption ou non Je ne saurais le dire. 
Je ne suis pas dans le secret de ce qui signe et de ce qui ne signe pas. Mais ce qui est sûr, c'est qu'il y a un bradage des ressources halieutiques sénégalais, que ce soit dans le cadre des accords, que ce soit dans le cadre des licences. In Senegal, this is a sensitive topic. Despite our attempts, neither the Senegalese Ministry of Fisheries nor the European Union delegation in the country responded to our interview requests. Faced with the hypocrisy of the authorities, some activists are fighting to stop the migration crisis. This is the case of Mustafa Diouf, who showed us some of the clandestine canoes departing. Every day, he travels the beaches to try to convince young people to stay in Senegal. Je connais tous ces jeunes qui sont ici. Bientôt, ils vont rentrer en temps, d'ici 10 ans. Ils vont marier. Ils vont construire des maisons, vouloir construire des maisons. Ils vont fonder des familles. Si toutes les jeunes prennent des pirogues, partir aux îles du Canary, mais qu'est-ce qui reste ici pour développer le Sénégal Qui restera Qui Qui restera dans le pays pour développer le Sénégal Prenez place. Venez les gars. Mustafa has created an association which offers these young people free training. C'est la chaise de la girafe. Vraiment, on est très content de vous voir. Qui pense de partir faire l'immigration en Europe Pouvez lever leurs mains. Le Sénégal a besoin de toi. On peut rester ici travailler ici. On peut rester ici réussir ici. On peut rester ici faire quelque chose. Vous êtes capable de le faire. Today, the trainer is teaching them the basics of management. Difficult to take in for young fishermen like Ottoman, who very often cannot read or write. Quelles sont ces qualités là? La première chose c'est qui c'est quoi? Il y a la confiance en soi, mais c'est la discipline. His three attempts to reach the Canary Islands have failed, but he holds on to his dream, watching videos of those who have succeeded. Over the past five years, more than 7,000 people are believed to have died during the crossing between Senegal and the Canary Islands. The majority of those who arrive on the Spanish archipelago are transferred to detention centers in mainland Spain. There, their asylum requests are usually refused. They then become undocumented immigrants under threat of deportation back to their country of origin. <laughs> <laughs>